Hello, everyone. Glad to meet you at Master Skill Summit. Today, I'm going to talk about how to overcome Reddit's scaling bottlenecks with Alloc KV on Cedar DB. So, first, a quick introduction to myself. My name is Hubert Zhang. I'm CTO of Alloc Data. In past, I worked on many database products, including Grimsum DB and Apache Hawk. Here is the agenda. I will first give a quick introduction to Alloc Data, and then talk about problem and our solution. Finally, I will give a brief overview of things to come in Alloc DB. Alloc Data is a startup company building the next generation database for the AI age. What we actually have is a new architecture to build a database. We are not going into technical details, but our key innovation is data substrate. It's a pluggable and modular database architecture. We can build different computer engines on top of data substrate and store data on different type of storage. SailorDB, in this case, can be used as a storage engine. You know, Sailor is a high-performance, distributed NoSQL database designed for low latency and high throughput workload. It's ideal option as a storage engine. Except Sailor, we also support other types of databases, such as Amazon DynamoDB and S3. We can get many key advantages by the previous mentioned architecture. The first is performance. The performance built with this architecture can match or exist the best-in-class solutions in many scenarios. The second one is modularity. We avoid reinventing the wheels to reduce the cost of building a new data models. The third one is scalability. Different resources in LHDB can be scaled independently. For example, as your data increases, you can just scale your storage engine. You know, CellularDB as a storage engine has very good scalability. The fourth one is compatibility. You can use your favorite API from SQL, Redis to Mongo, and all the APIs are standard. Next is transaction. AllocDB is fully ACID transaction with cross-model transaction support. Finally, AllocDB is cost-effective by leveraging the tired storage. Now, let's move back to the original Redis scaling bottleneck problem. Redis has many scaling issues. The first is data volume. Since Redis is pure in memory, it can lead to high costs for large datasets. The second one is scale up issue. Redis is single threaded, and scale up CPU resources can not enhance your performance of Redis. The third one is scale out. Redis is designed as a single node at first. So when you scale out, you have many trade offs and it's full of pitfalls. For example, it doesn't support cross-node operation. And for big cluster, the gossip communication becomes expensive. Besides all the scaling issues, Redis also has some other issues. For example, Redis has bad transaction support. It doesn't support rollback and it cannot make data durable. And Redis cluster doesn't support the cross-node transaction and also the Lua scripting. The next issue is client transparency. Redis and Redis cluster use different clients. So users have to modify their code when switching from single node Redis to cluster mode. Moreover, Redis and its underlying store use different APIs. Applications have to do double write. Double write can further lead to the catch coherence issues. For example, you use MySQL to persist your data and use Redis as a catch. So when you double write MySQL and Redis, there could be a case that one succeeds 
and the other field. This causes the data inconsistent between MySQL and Redis. Alloc KV on CDB can resolve all the issues. So what is Alloc KV on CDB? It is a high performance distributed transaction database with Redis API. Here is the architecture of Alloc KV. There are three components. The upper left is a compute cluster, which serves as the Redis executor engine and the transaction manager. It also has a distributed buffer pool to catch the hot data. Bottom right is a log service cluster. It's optional. When you need data durability, you can enable log cluster. When computer node crashes, the new data may not be flashed into the storage cluster. Alloc KV will recover this data from the lock cluster automatically. The right component is the storage cluster. Alloc KV stores data into separate storage engine. Here we leverage CDB cluster. You know, CDB is a high performance, scalable, and low latency. When the request data is not in the buffer pool of compute, compute cluster, alloc KV will access CDB for catch misread. As a result, CDB can provide the guarantee of read latency on code data. We can also support other storage engines such as Cloud KV cluster and Cloud Object Storage. Not that the new inserted data will not be flashed into the storage cluster like CDB immediately, but in a batch and async way. This is not only reduce the storage cluster pressure with batch operation, but also it can reduce the tail latency of the read operation. It will not affected by the RSM tree compaction and so on. Now let's review how ready, ready scale issues is resolved by alloc KV one by one. The first is data volume. Alloc KV can leverage memory, local SSD, and object storage to auto tear your data. For hot data, they are buffered in alloc KV distributed buffer pool, which can supply the ultra low read latency. For cold data, they are stored in CDB, which serve the catch miss read. Alloc KV can also enable to use object storage to store code data. In this setting, the local SSD becomes a catch of the object storage. Next topic is scale up. Different from Redis single threaded worker model, Alloc KV is multi-threaded and follow the thread per core model to achieve the best performance. This is similar to SailorDB, but we don't use the SysStar framework. We benchmark Alloc KV with Redis and Dragonfly DB. Dragonfly is a state-of-the-art Redis alternative. The blue bar shows the performance of Redis, and the green bar is for Dragonfly and the red bar is for Alloc KV. As you can see, Alloc KV is 10 times faster than Redis and has very similar performance compared with Dragonfly. Note that Dragonfly is, is just a catch point solution, which means it's still a single node and doesn't support a transaction. As I mentioned earlier, Alloc KV is a full-featured transactional database. Scale out is another issue of scaling Redis. Alloc KV can be fully scalable and elastic on all resource types, from CPU, memory, storage to read log. This enables you to scale the right component for your specific workload to reduce the total cost of ownership. 
The next topic is transaction. LLKV is not only a catch, but a fully ACID transaction database. It achieves durability by using rather a head log, and the WIL is cross AC. It supports different isolation levels, from repeatable read to read and read committed, and so on. It supports cross node multi ESEC and Lua scripting. Moreover, we also introduce a new Redis customer command to enable the explicit begin, commit, rollback semantics, which bring you the similar experience as you are using the SQL. Note that Redis is typically used as a catch. In this scenario, the client first read Redis. If catch miss happens, the client need to read the database to fetch a value and, and then refill the Redis catch. But since LLKV is a transactional database, it could be used as a primary database. The client is able to, to read and write in a single database. Here we can see the last graph shows the durability performance of LLKV compared with the Apache KV Rocks, which is a persistent Redis solution built on top of RocksDB. Both products enable the rather head log, and we run a benchmark on two types of disk, the cloud EBS and also the local NVMe. The blue bar shows the performance of KV Rocks, and the red bar is LKV. The result shows that LKV is also eight times faster than KV Rocks. The red graph demonstrate the benchmark of distributed atomic operations. The blue bar is for the single node Redis, and the red bar is for the single node LKV. We can see LKV is four times faster than Redis. What's interesting, the orange bar is a three node LKV cluster, which means the distributed operations will include distributed transaction and remote request. But we can see from the result, the throughput of LKV is still higher than a single node Redis. LKV is a better solution to scaling Redis, but LKDB is more than a key value store. Previously, we talked about LKV. Actually, LKDB also supports multiple APIs. Besides LKV, we also have LKSQL, which is a MySQL compatible distributed relation database, and LKDoc, which is a Mongo compatible document store. We avoid reinventing the wheels by plugging the existing implementation of various open source executor engines to guarantee the compatibility with the existing solutions. LLDB is not just a copy of existing database, but bring much more features powered by the data substrate architecture. As we already mentioned, LLKV has many nice features such as persistent storage, fully ACID transaction, alter data tearing, and cross node operations. Let's say LLKSQL. When compared with MySQL, LLKSQL also has many good properties. For example, it is fully scalable with multiple writer compatibility. And it can reduce the catch miss rate by using the distributed buffer pool. Compared with Mongo, AllocDoc also has some features. For example, it can decouple the compute and storage and has better distributed transaction performance. The above three individual products 
shows the features of LXDB. So what's the next? I will preview our ethic data converge DB. But before that, I will first describe the AI problem. You know now it's AI age. Here is an example of how to build a financial AI agent application. There are four agents. They all need to consume different kinds of data, which are stored in separate database. For example, use PostgreSQL to store tabular data. Mongo to store document, vector database to store embedding, graph to store relationship, and use ES to store the full text index, and so on. It has many pen points. Firstly, there are too many databases, which is hard to manage. Second, and more fundamental issue, is that we cannot do the cross model transaction, or we cannot query across a database in a unified way. For example, a single financial report may need to be stored across different databases. The original format is stored in Mongo. The embedding is stored in vector database. And the relationships are stored in the graph database. Writing the same data separately into multiple databases can lead to inconsistencies. For example, if a document is successfully written into the Mongo but failed into the vector database, this document becomes unsearchable via the vector index. So how to solve the issue? Here is our vision. We propose our converged DB solution, a unified database powered by the data substrate. It integrates multiple data models and enables the cross-model transaction. It also supports the standard API for users to quickly migrate their applications. ConvergeDB also reduces the number of databases to manage, which is very cost-effective. We are very happy to announce the LXDB is open source. We open source Alloc TV, Alloc Seiko, and Alloc Doc at the same time. Welcome to join our community. You can also download our software from the website. We will release our cloud products in the near future, so stay tuned. Thank you very much.